If somebody does that one thing alone, if you think about the Marian apparitions, especially the most recent, mm -hmm. at Lourdes, Our Lady appeared always, more than 16 times she appeared with the rosary in her arm. Mm -hmm. She would only appear when St. Bernadette began to pray the rosary. At Fatima, she told the children, pray the rosary, pray the rosary, pray the rosary. Mm -hmm. At Akita, she said, the rosary is going to be for those, the only safeguard that they will have in the end times. At the Our Lady of Cabejo, she said, you must pray the rosary of Our Lady of Sorrows to prevent the genocide that is going to happen. She always says the rosary because that's the key that unlocks every devotion. You start praying the rosary, your faith in the Eucharist will increase. You start praying the rosary, your soul will go to confession. But you can get anybody else to just pray the rosary. Mary will bring them back to the fullness of the truth in the church, and she will help them to grow in holiness. And spiritual reading, of course, is very good. Meditation, of course, excellent. Mm -hmm. But if you just keep the rosary as your foundational prayer, Our Lady will guide you in all of these other things. I promise, I promise, I promise. Mm -hmm. Um, can I know? I'm curious how how many hours do you pray every morning? I mean, so then again, I'm different from everybody. My schedule is different. I work in the church. Mm -hmm. So right and and I go through seasons. So right now I'm in a season of extreme prayer and mortification. Yeah, in mm -hmm. that season. Sometimes I don't pray as much. Right now, I pray a rosary right when I wake up. I wake up at 5.30 a.m., I get on my knees, I pray a rosary before my image of Our Lady of Fatima. Then I get my children ready for school. After that, on the way to school with my children, I pray another rosary, so that's two. Mm. Then I go to Mass. If I did not finish uh, a decade because we got to school early, I'll finish that during the Mass. At 12 mm. noon, I take my lunch break. I don't eat lunch because I'm in a season of penance, so I'm not eating until dinner time. So during my lunch break, I go to the Blessed Sacrament and mm. I'll pray two rosaries then. And then at three o'clock, I'll go back. I, I work in a church. At three o'clock, I'll go back to the Blessed Sacrament and I'll pray two more rosaries. And so that's two, four, six. And then before my children go to sleep, we pray as a family in the living room. We gather, we pray a rosary. And then before bed, I'll, right now, again, like I said, a season of penance, I will kneel down before my image of Our Lady when everybody else is asleep, and I'll pray the, the Our Lady of Sorrows Novena, which is also a rosary. So I count that as eight rosaries. I will never do less than four. I go to Mass every day, confession once a week. I try to do a holy hour every day. Um, at, if I, I always visit the Blessed Sacrament. My goal is a holy hour. But again... I am an evangelist. I work in the church. There's masses at my church three times a day. There's confession three times a day. I'm blessed. So I don't think that anybody should compare themselves to me. And there's mm. people who I know who pray much more than me, more holy than me. Mm. And I'm still very weak and full of sin, mm. etc. cetera. But um, I just feel that that's God's call for me personally right now. I don't plan on praying that I know of eight rosaries for the rest of my life. It's just a season. Before that, I was doing six. Um, and again, because I promote it, I can't promote four if I don't do more. I can't look at somebody who says to me, I have no time. And I say, I look, I don't tell them, oh, you have time. I pray eight. I look at them and I say, okay, my love, you have time. You can wake up here. So you know what I mean? I wouldn't be so pushy if I didn't do more. So I think Amen. if you pray four, it's easy to convince somebody to pray one. If you pray, you know, you know how it is. And the beautiful thing is if you fail, if you fail at praying four, you've prayed at least two or three. If you if you fail at praying one, you've prayed nothing that day. So so that that's me personally, full disclosure. But again, you can see my weaknesses, you can see my my temperament. Um, I'm a sinner. And uh Amen. Mary's the only Mary's the only way I'll get to heaven. That was powerful, and thank you so much for the inspiration that you shared to us right now, Brother Gabriel. A anything. And, it's an honor to be speaking with you and with your audience. I really yeah. believe that the Philippines. I know that it's not as holy as it used to be. I know it's not as holy as it used to be, but I strongly believe 
that the grace from the Philippines is spilling out into other areas of the world and it's making a huge difference. I was converted, Amen. I was led to this lifestyle of grace by Filipino priests and Filipino religious sisters. Let me let me give one more piece of advice. One more piece yes. of advice. Don't see the rosary as a burden. Some people will say, I have not finished my rosaries. Oh, it's so stressful. Stop, 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 stop. View the rosary as your liberation. If you want success, I prayed, I prayed, made sure I prayed my rosaries before this interview. Why? Because I know without the rosary, I cannot succeed. And maybe I mm. still fail. I don't know. Mm. But you, you should view the rosary as the source of your peace and say, I know I'm not going to have peace later if I don't pray now. I wake up and I didn't always just wake up at 5.30 a.m. and start praying the rosary. I started doing that because I realized when I didn't, my day would go badly. I wouldn't have peace. I would lose my temper. And then when I, I, I don't sleep at night because my children are crying, from experience, I say, well, I'm going to sleep in because my children woke me up in the middle of the night. But from experience, I've learned whenever I sleep in, my day is horrible. Just wake up and pray that Our Lady lets you sleep the next day because sticking with the schedule ensures that I have peace and consolation. So it's it's a process. Don't, don't stress out about your inability to do things. If you fail, you say, you take it very light. If you're humble, you'll say, I'm a dog. I failed. Blessed mother, you don't want me to fail. You need to give me the grace not to fail because I'm a failure. I'm a loser. I'm a bum. I'm a dog. I can't even bark without you letting me bark. So don't put too much pressure on yourself. All things, peace, love, and the presence of Mary. So I just don't want people to hear and then get stressed out. You have a, I think, four children, right? Four children, yeah. I'm so blessed to have four good children and 11. Oh, then you fit in all, all of it. <laughs> in, in, well, again, but if, schedule, you wow. it, if you think about it, it's not impacting my family at all. Especially if I was just doing four, if I'm doing it in the car and I'm doing it before bed and, and when I go to sleep, it doesn't impact them at all. It only benefits them. Because when I pray the rosary on my way home from work, normally a man comes home from work, he wants to relax. Yes. He wants to say, let me relax. Let me take my shoes off. Let me eat my dinner. Why are you bugging me? I don't want to wash the dishes. When you pray the rosary, you die inside. You say, mm -hmm. I'm done. So when I get home, I know it's, I have a presence of the Virgin Mary because I just prayed the rosary. I have... Our Lady on my shoulder saying, love your son. Go play basketball with him. Play games with your daughters. I get home, I spend all my time with my children. My children are blessed only because of the rosary. Because if I didn't, I would be there saying, leave me alone. I'm on my phone. Leave me alone. I want to watch this on YouTube. Leave me alone. I'm, I'm fighting with Protestants on the comment section. Leave me alone. <laughs> but uh, the rosary kills your self-will. Amen. So it's really a blessing on the family. It's a blessing on the family. There's yes. no greater blessing on this earth that you can give than to try to become a saint and love your family. Mm -hmm. There's no greater blessing for your wife than for you to become a saint and for a saint to love her. Amen. No more better natural blessing for your children than for their dad to become a saint. Yes, and your family is a very ideal Catholic family. We have our struggles, but... We're, we're everyone should aspire. Everyone yeah, should we're, we're trying. We're trying. We're trying. Here in the Philippines, we always say "sana all." <laughs> what does that mean? Sana all means we we become like you, like that. Sana oh, all. Oh, praise the Lord! <laughs> oh, you're nice. Sana all to you too, my friend. <laughs> if you pray, and again, all things, Mary, what do you want of me? She mm. might say, "Just try three. She might say, mm. "Just try three, and then one day she might say, "Try four. If mm. and only if it is God's will. We just have to be open and honest and say, Blessed Mother, what do you want of me? And mm. do it. Do her will and you'll be blessed. Uh, Brother Gabriel, so you are a social media influencer. So do you have websites, social yes. media channels? Do you want to promote to yes, our Yes, please. Viewers? So my YouTube channel is called Gabi After Hours. If you just mm. type in Gabi After Hours, that Gabi. title comes nice. from, I first <laughs> opened it when I was doing a social experiment of doing a reflection after two hours of adoration. But now it also represents that it's Gabi after a lot of hours of rosaries. Now it means mm -hmm. it's Gabi after a lot of hours of working. It's Gabi after his work hours. So Gabi after hours is the is the is my main YouTube channel. I have other ones where I give talks and 
Uh, I'm going to make a Spanish YouTube channel, God willing, soon. Wow. Um, but again, it, I'm going to need money to do it because I, I can't take away from my English apostolate. So it's going to be all God's grace. We'll see. But yeah, Gabi After Hours is the main YouTube channel. So. Mm. And do you have uh, Patreon, right? A Patreon, yeah. Patreon.com slash Gabi After Hours. Yes. Mm. And your website, yeah. True Faith. It's TrueFaith.tv, yeah. TrueFaith.tv. Yeah. Any last word, uh, Brother would you, God? Would you like to end in a prayer? Can we do a prayer? Yes. Okay, so let's, let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity that you have given us to gather. We ask that you, who are life itself, will bring amen. life out of all of these efforts of Adrian, of his viewers. We thank you for this opportunity to learn about your mother. Blessed Mother, we consecrate our lives to you. Everything that we worry about, everything that concerns us, all of our loved ones, we give them to you. Help us to love you and help us to love Jesus through you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death and help us to have a greater love for the rosary. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Awesome. Thank you so much, my brother. Wow. Thank we'll you so talk much. again soon. It was an yeah. honor. It's been an honor and a pleasure to have you in, in my show. And I know many of our viewers all around the world will be so blessed and uh, it will impact their life in all thank what you share. well i'm gonna i'm gonna be sharing your videos as well thank you so much yes thank all you right. so god much. bless you my friend god bless you have a great day god thank bless. you for having sleep well my friend yes you have a good gabby how can we evangelize lukewarm catholics our lady our la my answer is always the same para magkaroon ka ng access sa content na ito, be part of my Patreon group at i-click mo lang ang gold membership. Ma-access mo na ang buong video talk na ito. Alam mo ba na pag ikaw ay naging part ng aking Patreon group ay matutulungan mo ako makapag-produce pa ng mga high quality content na katulad ng pinapanood mo ngayon at sobrang makakatulong ito sa ating online evangelization dito sa ministry na ginagawa natin para mas ma-empower nyo ako makapag-produce ng mas marami pang content na alam ko na makakatulong sa inyong pananampalatayang katoliko. Thank you and God bless. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope na na-bless at na-inspire ka dito sa aking vlog. Make sure na i-like mo at mag-comment ka sa baba ng video na to at mag-subscribe ka sa aking YouTube channel para lagi ka updated sa mga bagong vlog na gagawin ko. At huwag mo din kakalimutan na i-like ang aking page. So this been Adrian Milag encouraging you to live your life to the fullest. God bless you more abundantly.